Hey, this is Chris from Sinti Studios, and today we'll be taking a look at how to make your own snow particle system. This scene is mostly based on the Polygon Vikings pack, as well as some props and characters from the Kids and Gang Warfare packs. And we've also thrown in the Santa and the Christmas pack, which are available for free on the Sinti store. So we'll start off by creating a new particle system. And we'll call that Snow Particles. Now the camera won't be moving in this scene, so we have a set location for our particle system, so I'll paste that in. So for our start speed here, we'll set that to zero, just to stop that movement. Then next for the shape, we set this to box. And then for the scale on the X, we'll set this to 10. And the Z, we'll set this to 10 also. And for our start size, if we click this little icon here, then we want the random between two constants. And for the first option, we want 0.001 and 0.03. And this will just give us a bit of variation in the size of the particles. And for our max particles, we'll just add an extra zero onto the end just to increase that. For duration and start lifetime, we'll set both of these to 16. The duration means that this particle system will run for 16 seconds before looping, and the start lifetime, the particles will die after 16 seconds. Then the next thing we want to change in the emissions tab, rate over time, we'll change this to 200. This controls the amount of particles that are emitted per second. Then we want to make them fall, so we we'll want the velocity over lifetime. And like before, if we click the little icon and random between two constants, for the while we want minus 0.5 and minus 0.1. So you can see it's pretty unrealistic the way it's going straight down, so we'll just want a bit of variation in how it falls. So to do that, in the same area as before, velocity over lifetime, we want to add some values to the x and the z. So we'll try minus 0.2 and 0.2. And the same with the Z. Now if we try that again, you can see we get a bit of sideways movement with the snow. So obviously the higher those numbers, the more movement you'll get. The other optional thing you may want to change, you can see as the particles get closer to the camera, they appear a little bit larger. So if you do want to change that, under the Renderer tab, Max Particle Size, we change it to a number like 0.005. And if we're just to fly around, there's not too much variation in the size of the particles. Now you can stick with the standard material if you're happy with the nice rounded look, but if you want more of a boxy look, then we'll make a material like this one. So we'll delete that. And if we create a new material, and we'll call this snowflake. For the shader, we'll change this to particles, standard unlit. And for the rendering mode, we'll change this to fade. And then back in our particle system, if we go down to renderer for the material, we'll just apply our new material. You can see we get a nice boxy look now. So testing out the particle system, you can see we don't have any collision set up, so it's going straight through the building. So let's fix that. So back on our particle system, we head down to collision, and we'll enable this, change it to world. Now the two things we'll want to change here is the bounce. Set this to zero, as when it hits the ground, it'll bounce straight up if this is set to one. As well as dampen, if we change this to one, this will stop it from sliding around on the ground. So if we try that out again, you can see it's now hitting the ground and sticking. So we'll make a few more visual tweaks. We'll start off with colour over lifetime. So we'll want one around halfway and one at about 80%. For the 50%, we'll set this at roughly 200, so it starts to fade over time. And at the 80% mark, we'll set this to 65. And then at 100%, we'll set that to zero. So as the snowflake starts to fall, it'll be fully visible and it will slowly fade out over time. So as you can see, everything that's falling down, we're getting a nice variation in colour. And then as it falls down, it slowly fades out. You can obviously tweak these more to your own liking. Another real simple effect we can apply here is rotation over lifetime. We can leave that just as is, and we'll hit play. And if we watch one of the particles, you can see we just get a nice subtle rotation as it falls. Obviously, the lower the number, the lower the rotation. Another thing we can change is under emission, rate over time, as you can see there, the number of particles emitted per second. So the lower that number, the less particles there'll be. The higher the number, the more snow there'll be. We'll set this to 50 you can see the snow is much more subtle. If you change that to a number like 800, you can see it's much heavier snow. In the velocity over lifetime tab, we applied a little bit of motion left and right, backwards and forwards for the particles. We also have the option to apply some noise. And then lowering that to a number like 0.2, you can see it just adds a little bit of subtle movement to the snow. I hope you found the tutorial useful. If there is anything specific that you want to see more of, then let us know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel to keep up to date with all of our newest videos, or check out our community Discord. The link is in the description.